Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing how to mirror your iPhone screen onto the Range Rover Velar screen. Now this works with most cars that have a HDMI input and a USB port inside the car itself because what I'm going to be using, this is the Apple Lightning AV HDMI adapter. So you can see there's a HDMI port and a Lightning port at the bottom. Then you have the Lightning port there at the top. So I just came across this by accident. Basically what you have to do is just put the USB into the USB port in your car. Then connect the HDMI cable into the HDMI port in your car. So if your car supports HDMI media, then this would work for you. Make sure you check your cars. This is a Range Rover Velar 2017 first edition. So then all I have to do now, I have both of these connected to the adapter. What I have to do is just connect it to the iPhone and then I need to change the source of the media control to HDMI. So all I need to do is make sure that the iPhone is unlocked. I will just connect that there. I go into media source and I select HDMI and you'll see it should pick up the iPhone straight away. And there it is, it's mirroring the iPhone. As you can see, there's a slight lag. Now this is perfect if you wanna watch videos or look at pictures from your gallery, or even if you wanted to open up things like YouTube or Netflix, you can pretty much watch anything and it goes into full screen here. So if I go into YouTube, I'll go into one of my videos. So this is one about the MagSafe mount. Go into full screen you'll see it goes into full screen there as well. And you can see that there is a slight lag, but if you're watching it just on the screen and not the phone, you'll notice that it will look absolutely fine and you can watch anything you'd like. It doesn't go to the full screen of your Velar because of the ratio that video playback is enabled for this particular screen but this is good enough to do the job for anything that you might want to do. So maybe if you are looking to watch YouTube videos on your Range Rover Velar screen, this is the way to do it. And obviously this would only work if you have an iPhone. One thing I want to mention is make sure the adapter you get, I'll leave a link down below of this from the Apple website, but don't buy a cheap knockoff. There's a lot of these on eBay and Amazon for about 10 pounds, 15 pounds. This one is about 49 pounds, it's not cheap. It is quite expensive, but for the things that you can do with it and to make sure that it works 100% of the time, then this is definitely worth it. I use this to connect to my camera monitors, my TVs at home and now my car, and I know it's going to work all of the time. The other reason why you might want to use this is if you want to use the camera, maybe you want to do something like a carpool karaoke. So you can just get the camera up, you'll see, you can pretty much record anything. And what I can do is I can use the Velar screen to see how I look if I use the back cameras by placing this on a mount and facing it towards me. So you can use this if you want to record videos using the back camera on your phone, place it onto the mount and then have a look on the screen here and just look at yourself to see if it's in the right position, if the color looks good and the focus looks good, anything like that. So it's very convenient. There's loads of different things you can do with this. The color I've noticed on the videos when you are mirroring it, it's different to the ones that are on the retina display of the iPhone 12s. But for the most part, the purpose you want to maybe use this for, it will do an excellent job. So one thing I wanted to mention is that I've not found a way to play the audio back from either of the phone or the actual Velar itself when I've connected it. So I'm not sure, maybe the HDMI input doesn't allow you to play audio through the speaker system of your car. But for the most part, when you are going to be connecting something using HDMI, maybe it's going to be just visual displays only. Of course, I think when you wanted to play back videos, you would probably do that through USB. So that's a shame. But if I do figure out how to play the audio from either of these devices when connected using this adapter, I will put it in the comments. All right, guys, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I do plenty of car accessory videos and I know you're going to really like them. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss other ones in the near future. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.